Welcome to B&B RV. We're located in Denver at 8101 East 40th Avenue. This is the uh, Outlaw Class C 29J toy hauler that's in our rental fleet. We're going to do a walk around and show you the outside and the inside of this unit today. On this side we have a couple little uh, access panels for your propane in the generator. That generator all runs from inside which we'll show you as we get inside. To dump your black tank and your gray tanks on this side of your coach it's where you're going to have a drain at the campground or you're going to drive up to a, a public dump or a you know multiple dump where people can just pull up to. So back here you're going to have a sewer hose stored in this compartment. You're going to pull that sewer hose out. You'll bring it right up here and you're going to connect it to this. So this cap comes off, you connect your hose and you put it down into the drain. Then you have two tanks. The black handle is for your black tank, which is your toilet. You're going to dump that first. When it's all done, close that and then dump the gray tank. That's soapy water from your sinks and shower. That kind of helps rinse that that uh, dump hose out. When you're all done, close that. Put your cap back on. Put your hose back in. If you desire, you can rinse out that black tank. This particular coach has a valve for that. So you would take a hose and connect it to this, this valve right here. And that's going to spray into your tank, into your black tank. So if you decide to spray out your black tank, you're going to want to dump your black tank, spray it out, and then when you're done with that, dump your gray tank, and then uh, go ahead and put your hose away. So this isn't necessary, but it, uh, you can do that if you like. And I'll explain it again inside, but the reason you do that is sometimes in that black tank, there's just screws that are sensors and toilet paper or other objects can hang up on those sensors and give you a false reading. There's an outside shower, just a little shower head. So if you're sandy or dirty, muddy, something that you want to wash off before you get in, you do have an outside shower. Hooks up to cable. This is uh, for a solar panel for people that purchase them. This is for again the cable TV, city water connection. When you get to a campground, if you want to be hooked up to pressurized water, you're going to hook up your water here. Your uh, gas is there. No special gas. There will be a sewer hose in here for you. This one's brand new, so we still haven't put all the items in it. That's where you store your sewer hose. This compartment here's got the electric in it, so it just has an adapter that um, connects to, on this motorhome, you'll want a 30 amp service in the campground. They'll ask for 30 or 50, this is a 30. And that just plugs directly into uh, the motorhome in the campground. On the back of this unit, we have a, a ramp that also doubles as a patio. So we just disconnect the two handles there and this just pulls down. It has cables here that hold this to be your patio. On the back deck here, if you're going to set this screens up so you can use it as your back patio, you just set the side rails up. They just click into place and then you just slide this back. There's a little plate here that it latches into. And the same with this side. Got a little pin here to pin this together. When you get ready to go, you're just going to do the reverse. Swing it open. Over to the side and then release these sides. Inside, there's a couple of little screens that enclose that piece in case you have small children. And in the very back, there's a screen to enclose the very rear so it'll slide close to close off the whole back of the camper. That's the back patio. And when you get ready to go, you're going to simply put this back up. Then just make sure the cable's in on both sides. Latch it back up.
when you have this out as your back patio, there is an awning that comes out across to uh, protect it as well. This side, there's just a connector there. This is your extra storage compartment in the back, and there's another extra storage compartment up here in the front. That panel has no access. There's your other storage. Let's go ahead and, oh, on this side too, this is where you'll fill water. So if you're going to fill your onboard water, not leave your hose hooked up. On the other side where you hook the hose up, that's just for pressurized water. This is to refill your onboard tank. So let's take a look inside. Okay, inside of the Outlaw 29J, we'll start from the front of the unit and move to the back. This is built on a Ford Heavy Duty van, so a lot of the cockpit should feel pretty comfortable and familiar to you. We upgrade the mirrors, so you have heated remote mirrors, so that uh, if you need any adjustment, you can just do that from inside. There's a tow haul button right on the end of the shift, so if you're in the mountains or the hilly areas, as you're going up, once you get into a steep enough, long enough um, hill, this is going to shift down at about 40 to 45 miles an hour. When it does, just go ahead and tap the button on. That'll keep it from trying to shift up and down and up and down, and you should be able to just cruise on up the pass. Leave that in as you're coming down. So as you come down the pass, that will help you from getting going too fast. Typically, we'll keep you at 50 to 55. If you're still going faster than you would prefer, just tap the brake twice with your foot and the transmission will shift down for you. Um, that'll just keep you from having to use the brakes. You don't want to use the brakes as you're going down the pass. Everything up here is pretty standard. There's a couple of 12 volt outlets. You could use those for charging phone, etc. as a USB charger. Just uh, try to avoid plugging anything too big in here because these are usually fused fairly low at five amps or so and the bigger electronic might blow that fuse, which is a Ford fuse, not part of the house. So um, camera is built into your radio. So you have a backup camera uh, built in whenever you put it in reverse, that's gonna come on and show you what's behind you. Don't trust that 100%. You can't always see everything with the camera. You know, if there's a shadow or a tricycle coming from the side, but it definitely does help, but it doesn't replace having a spotter out back. Both of the driver and passenger's seats will swivel around, and uh, they include a little pad here, so these pads can go onto those chairs and give you a little higher seat so that you're more in level here with the with the back part of the coach because there's tables that we can put up in four different locations back here. This piece fits in this hole to create your bed up in front. And then there's a ladder that will clip onto there and come down here as well. There's an exhaust fan above, so if you have windows open, that'll suck the air in through those windows. TV with a DVD, remotes are gonna be in the cabinets for you. We've got a sofa on each side in this one. As soon as we get back a little further, we're gonna show you the button that slides this slide out. And when this slides out, you have two more spaces on the floor in which you can put your tables. So this comes with two small tables that are stored underneath of this sofa. So the tables are just stored under there. You're going to put the leg in and the table on in whichever spots work best for you. The fridge in this one is all automatic. It's going to run on propane. Anytime you plug into electricity, it's going to switch to electricity automatically for you. So you just want to keep an eye on these, make sure the light is on for you. And um, this should be all cold when you come and pick up your RV. We start these um, the night before you pick it up, make sure everything's cold for you. So you have one television up front. You have another television here behind the refrigerator, so when we slide this slide out, it becomes visible. In a kitchen, you've just got a regular sink like you would have at home. You have a three-burner cooktop. 
this works a little bit differently in that you just turn on the button for the burner that you want and then there's a sparker so just by turning the sparker it will ignite the burner for you have a microwave up top which is just like home you do need to have electricity to run your televisions or your microwave or your air conditioner so those are the three things that you need electricity or 110 for there's another fan back here again with the fan on pulls there into any door or window that you have open. The bathroom is here. We have a shower, a toilet, which is called a foot flush. You just push the pedal with your foot part way down to add water, all the way down will flush. And then anytime that tank gets full, we're gonna have a gauge right here you'll see next. When that tank gets full, when you go to dump it, everything's done on the outside. You come inside and we'll have a little pouch of chemical to put in there that just um, helps everything break down and keeps it from smelling. So anytime you get done dumping the black tank outside, you come back inside and put one pouch in and flush it down with a little water to get a fresh start. And there's a sink in here. This one has a hot water heater switch inside that I'll show you now. So your water heater control is here. The little red button, don't let this fool you that the red light is on. Go ahead and push the on, you'll see it come on. We typically leave the temperature set there, uh, but you can adjust it up and down. We recommend that you just leave it there and just turn it on or off. This button will just change between centigrade and Fahrenheit. So to push it once again, just to turn it off. And uh, that's all there is to getting the hot water set up in here and turned on. Back toward the back before the door into the toy hauler is your control panel. At the very top of the control panel here is your generator and you just hit the start and hold that down until it starts. And you don't have to worry about holding it after it starts, just let it start like that. It tells you how many hours are on it, that just keeps track of the hours on the generator so we know when to do service, etc. You do get some free hours per night. And after that, if you use more, there's a fee, but you only need the generator when you want to run air conditioner, microwave, or TVs, and you're not plugged in at a campground. And you just hit the stop to stop that generator. All of your gauges are here. So you just push the button. So LPG is your propane. That'll be full when you leave. Your battery will be full when you leave. Your fresh water will be full when you leave. And your black tank and your gray tank will be empty. After you dump your tanks, those will go, or they'll, after they fill up and you dump them, they should go back to empty. Sometimes this black tank will still have a light or two on because there's just sensors that are screws in the side of that tank that will sometimes um, have uh, paper or something that gets tied up on those and hung up and gives you a false reading. So you know that you've just uh, dumped that. Helping to alleviate that pro problem is if you hook up the hose and let it spray into the tank, sometimes that will uh, release those and clean it up more and sometimes not. So just know that after you've dumped, if your black tank doesn't say empty again, it is empty, it just has a false reading there. So we have a slide room up front that is our sofa and our refrigerator. And by hitting extend, that will slide out the whole slide and just give you much more living space in front. Plus also it will uh, slide out to uncover the other two spots to put your table legs. You're gonna hold that down until it's all the way out. You wanna have the slide all the way out or all the way in. Tank heaters are for winter use. So that's a heat pad on your tanks to help keep them from freezing. A water pump, anytime you're gonna use onboard water you'll have that water pump on, sink, shower, toilet, anything you're gonna use. Your thermostat is all right here. So you have cool on this side, so you just push this tab to the cool or push it over to heat. Recommend leaving it on high auto for your fan so it will just automatically work. And after you turn it on heat or cool, you're just gonna set the thermostat to the temperature that you desire. This does have uh, a leveling system if you're parked in a level spot, 
you're probably not going to need it. Otherwise, you know, if you want to use that for leveling, it is fairly automatic on this one. Um, you just turn it on, and then you do need to have the uh, engine on. You're just going to turn it on, and you're going to hit auto level, and it's going to level for you. When you get ready to leave, you're going to turn it on, and then you're going to hit retract to pull all of those leveling feet back up. Once it's all the way up, then um, you can uh, take off. Okay, this back here is the uh, garage portion of the uh, motorhome. As you can see when we show the outside of this, that's the tailgate that goes down to become a patio or a ramp. Up above, we have a bed. So this is a full bed. Has a switch right over here. And all you do is push this switch to let this bed come down. So you get to the spot that you're gonna stay, take the toys out of the back, you drop this down to whatever height you would like your bed. Uh, some people like to maybe still leave a dirt bike or something under it and just have the bed up higher. So you just stop this bed at whatever level you want it. When you get ready again, you're gonna push the button to raise the bed back up to the top. There's a little storage and a couple of cup holders up here on top as well. And then underneath you'll have a couple more cabinets in the back. There's another stainless steel cabinet over on the other side. And we have another television back here. Because you can separate this with the door, we also have a small air conditioner back here so you can uh, keep it cool. TV, storage box, and keep the things that might be a little messier in the uh, stainless steel. You've got a stereo system back here, and then more lights. There's also a built-in charger here, so if there's battery that you need to charge, um, there's a charger here. This does have two vents because it um, can have a motorized vehicle in it. Uh, so there's a vent here to open and then on that side just to get air through if needed. And again, you have windows with screens back here. This is the Outlaw 29J Class C Toy Hauler in B&B RV Rental Fleet. You can come and see us soon. Thanks.